Hello everyone. In the last lesson, we talked about uh, how to use the GC Feather component node to create a mesh versus a feather. And in this lesson, we will use another node called GC Feather Component Array. This node is an array type of uh, GC Feather component. So let's start. First, I will create a simple polyplane. Uh, use this too. Now I will copy this mesh and move it. Copy again. Okay, now we have three, we have four meshes. Select these four mesh and uh, I will combine them. Delete history and uh, display the vertices number. Okay, now we have um, a simple mesh. In this mesh, this mesh has uh, four shells. One, two, three, four. Because we duplicate uh, mm, the polyplane. So in each shell, there are the same number of uh, mesh verses. Now select this mesh. I will create a mesh component array. Now select uh, this node, open it in the attribute editor. I will copy tab, copy it. First, I will input uh, this attribute, this attribute uh, 5 clone 9. And uh, now you see we have lots of triangle locators. Now this attribute works step 15. Okay, now we have four triangle locators. Each shell, each shell has uh, one triangle locator. Select the triangle locator and create a component array GC feather. Now we have four feather shapes. Select this node and uh, click the library. Click this button. Now, in this mesh, we have uh, four feathers. This node, the GC feather component array node, this node is used to create uh, lots of uh, feathers in one node and in one mesh. Okay, now I will explain how this node works. Select um, the triangle locator, open it in the attribute editor. Select this mesh. In the first shell, we have um, 0, 14, we have 15 vertices. And I will, I want to use 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I want to use um, these um, 5 vertices as a template. So I input uh, 5, clone 9. Because uh, each shell has uh, 15 numbers, 15 vertices. So I input 15. And the uh, third attribute work times. Now this this is negative one. Negative one means uh, this node will create as many feathers uh, as possible. If I input uh, one, it will use the first uh, first vertice, first feather. Two, it will create two feathers. Three, it will create uh, three feathers. Four, it will create four. If I don't know how much, how many shells in this mesh, I will input negative one. This is equal to four. So in this mesh, we have four feather shapes. In this way, we can create uh, lots. We can create a feather coat containing lots of feathers. I will create uh, a feather coat in the in the next lessons. Okay. See you next lesson.